Stops 23 here, and today's Knife Therapy, we have my top 10 most carried EDC fixed blades over the last couple of months. These are the ones that just made it in the pocket for some reason or the other. Let's get started. First up, we have one coming from Boker Plus. This is the Kaizen. Uh, just a very small, pocketable fixed blade, and um, it's skeletonized, full tang, of course, and... You could core wrap that if you wanted to, but this is just something to make a quick cut. You need to do some detailed drag cuts with that sheep's foot blade. Excellent for that. This is an Alexander Krava design, and I love a lot of his stuff. <laughs> um, I will have links to all these down in the description, so if you want to pick up one of them, just go uh, check that out. So this is the Krava. has a nice Kydex sheath, very uh, slim and easy to carry. I drop this one in the pocket most of the time. You could carry it as a neck a neck carry, but in the pocket, that's my go-to. Especially, it's got the little lanyard. I pull it out of my pocket, do what I need to do, and put it back in. These run you around 69 bucks. <clears throat> Number nine, you have one coming from Off Grid Knives, and this is their All Day Fixie. Another very small, slim, very lightweight carry. I just had this one on a tech lock that it came with to carry it, scout carry, but I took it off to drop it in the pocket because we were out in the nature trail by our house. Uh, this thing came ridiculously sharp. I mean, wicked sharp. You got a full flat ground blade. You know, just this is another one that you could do some light work with. You got some nice jimping up there that's very grippy. And believe it or not, you can get more than you think done with this. It's a three finger grip, but it's a wider grip. Another one you could cord wrap, but this is not something you could be doing all day work with. You just make a quick cut and that's that. Uh, D2 steel, excellent heat treat on this because uh, I haven't had to sharpen it. I use it quite a bit. Cool little knife. These run you 34 bucks. <laughs> I think that's a good deal for this, especially for getting the G10. Excellent D2 here, and uh, it comes with a belt clip as well, so very nice. And number eight, and this is not something I usually EDC, but I've, I've wanted to carry it, so I have been EDC in it, and that is the Lion Steel M4. Comes with this beautiful sheath made in Italy. Of course, they do some excellent, excellent uh, stuff over there in Italy. I don't love their folding knives that much. I just haven't had that good of experience, but... So far, I've been enjoying this one. It's got one of the most comfortable handles. Nice and thick micarta here with the nice palm swell. Very, very comfortable. Crown spine, crown all the way around there to about right there. Uh, comfortable in any grip because of that neutral handle. Great blade shape. Uh, these usually come in M390. For 154 bucks for the quality you're getting here, I think that's a good deal. Um, I haven't had to sharpen this one yet but <clears throat> I'm just starting to uh, get some use on it. So that is the Lion Steel M4. And like I said, it is a little bigger. This is an eight inch overall uh, length. I usually go for like six and a half, seven or so for my EDC fixed blades, but I've just been wearing it on the belt and it's been fine. Wouldn't mind getting a Kydex sheath made for this because I would like to carry it, you know, in the Scout carry. That's, that's usually my go-to method. We have one coming from Kaiser. And that is the Kaiser Beg Letter Fixed Blade. Been carrying it, Scout Carry, uh, with the soft loops that it came with. Nice push off point right there. Good positive click. Uh, very comfortable handle with these micarta scales. You have the crowning all around here as well. And that awesome Beg Letter blade. I don't love the traction coating on this, but it is D2 steel. Very comfortable ergos, and it could fit pretty much anybody's hand because, look, I have a medium-sized hand. Look at all that I have sticking out, and you can kind of choke choke up right there and get a lot of handle. Uh, you can get right up on that edge doing some fine work. Beautiful, beautiful blade, and I just got this one not too long ago, so I, I wanted to do some testing with it. I just started doing some testing with it. Like I said, I don't love the traction coating, it gets stuff all, I had to wipe this down with alcohol because it had uh, wood stuff all stuck in there. Something you could remove. They got a nice long row of uh, grippy jimping up here. And these right here will run you 
$64. Number seven, we have one coming from Joker Knives, and this is the Joker of Vispa. Somebody recommended to pick this one up, and it has a nice full flat ground blade, beautiful drop point there, and where is it at? It's made in 14C, 28N steel. Love, love that steel, especially for a nice EDC fixed blade. Now, if you have large, extra large hands, this one's gonna be kind of a small knife for you because I have medium-sized hands and I can fit my hand perfectly around there. And you have some beautiful thickness in those scales. When it comes to a fixed blade, I like them nice and thick in the handle or a nice palm swell because that allows you to continue to use it without fatiguing your wrist and forearms rather quickly. This one feels nice in hand, no hot spots because they did an excellent job of rounding that micarta. Uh, I kind of wish they would have left this uh, to a little bit rougher grit on the uh, micarta because it looks like, they said canvas, but it looks like linen micarta and they almost polished it. It's not slippery. You can you can still get good traction to it, but it's not as grippy if you left it rougher. Um, so far, I've been enjoying it. It does have grippy jimping, but it's it's all the way back here. And being this is a small knife, I mean, if you had to like thrust into something, I guess you could do that. It definitely holds on to the thumb, but for me, I just choke up like, I mean, I just get up like that, doing what I have to do either in the hammer grip or saber grip. Awesome, awesome little knife. So far, I've been enjoying it. It comes with a nice Kydex sheath. And on it, I have one of the real steel clips. Uh, I'll leave a link to these two if I can find any. Number six, we have the Artisan Sea Snake. Uh, this one is a Mike Emler design. Comes with a Kydex sheath. Nice little drainage hole there. Um, I have it on an Ulti clip. And the Sea Snake is just an excellent budget EDC fixed blade. Um, this particular one is, is a sprint run. I got this off their site. This one's in S35VN, but the one I'm going to link is in uh, their AR RPM 9 steel. That's the one that I've done the most work with, so that's the one that I'm going to link. I don't know if these are still available on their site or not, but the AR RPM 9 one, in my opinion, is the best bang for your buck. <laughs> you can get that for $40, bucks, $40, and you get a cutting sheath something that's very uh, easy to carry. It's nice and slim, you know, comfortable G10 scales. You can choke up, get right up to what you're, what you're using it for. And that needle precision tip, that's what I use this for the most is doing drag cuts, cutting stuff out. Nice and slicey blade, very, very lightweight. You could carry this as a neck carry, but I like to put it in the pocket, pull it out, use it. Sometimes I don't even have the clip on there. I just slot it in the pocket and I forget it's there. Number five, we have one coming from Bradford Knives, and that is the Bradford Guardian 3. This is an aftermarket Etsy uh, Kydex. If I can find the person who did it, uh, I'll link it, but I don't like it that much because the retention isn't that great. Uh, it just, I don't know, not the best, but it comes with a nice leather slip, and that's probably what I'll put it back in. Um, the, the Guardian is excellent. The, the reason why I love this knife, there's a few reasons. You get this nice full-size blade and you still can get a nice four-finger grip. They do an excellent job. Look at that thickness in the G10 scales. Excellent job there. And they use so many different steels that it, you can't usually find on fixed blades. I'm going to link a bunch of them. Um, you, you can get an M390. This one is in CPM 3V. Uh, you can get it in Vanitas, Vanitas 4 Extra, ex excellent, excellent steel. You can get it in Magna Cut for 160 something bucks, and they do an excellent job with their heat treats. This is USA made. Awesome, awesome knives. Uh, the, the Guardian 3 is probably the easiest one for me to EDC. I have the 3.5. It's a little bit too big for what I usually like to carry. Um, I still carry that one from time to time but uh this is the one i tested it did excellent with my testing and i enjoy carrying it number four we have one coming from essie and this is the essie azula in s35 vn my particular one i did have a cord wrap because it comes without any scales um these run 83 dollars without the scales sometimes you can find them cheaper and uh, I picked up these micarta scales just to have something a little bit thicker. It feels more comfortable in hand. 
I got those from BattleBox for like 13 bucks or something like that. They're still available. I'll try to link that as well. Uh, this this uh, Kydex I got off of Etsy. If I can find the person that did it, I'll put that. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I, I enjoy carrying this one, I got a tech lock on it, and I, I carry it like that on the belt. Reason why I enjoy carrying this was my beater knife. Um, I don't care, you know, if anything happens to it. If I break the blade, that's fine because SE has one of the best warranties in the business. No questions asked. They will replace it if I break it. Number three, we have another one coming from Bradford Knives, and that is the Bradford G Necker. A very high quality USA made fixed blade. Excellent. Kydex sheath here. They come in two different blade shapes. I have one of those real steel uh, clips on there. And I usually clip this into the pocket or put it in my back pocket. This is a G-necker. Look at that. Look at that thick, thick slab of LMAX steel. Nice full flat, flat ground blade. This is another heavy user. You're not, I mean, look at look how stout that is. You're not going to snap this one unless you're really doing something stupid. This is the nimble finish on it. But I'd recommend just a regular stone wash because it's a good bit cheaper. You can get the stone wash one right now for 76 bucks. I think that's a no-brainer. USA made, like I said, L Max great steel. It's a it's a three-finger grip knife, but I still can do a good bit of work with it. You have a nice full-size blade there, uh, blade for how small it is, compact. It is a little bit heavier because you have that thick, thick chunk of L Max. I like how they it's tapered down. Look at that. <laughs> that is sick. Um Bradford is an awesome company. Uh, I, I, every time I go to Blade Show, I go hang out, talk with them for a while. They're super nice. But that jimping's great. Nice uh, little pinch there. I just use this to, you know, open up things from time to time. It's nothing major, but I enjoy carrying the G-Necker. All right. These last two are my most carried as of the last few months. And I, it might not be any surprise, but number two, we have the White River knives backpacker and i mean they call them different things whenever i first got this it was the cord wrap version i'll leave a link to that and i added these aftermarket g10 scales but i'll i'll link the one that comes with the g10 already usa made very very high quality comfortable especially with that g10 very very comfortable s35 vn steel very slicey uh they do an excellent heat treat i beat this thing up and the knife did an excellent, excellent job. Gets a ridiculously sharp edge. Nice sharpening troll there. Love it. Excellent, excellent Kydex because it's, it's, it's minimal. It's not super, super wide, even though it's a uh, two-sided instead of pancake uh, style. Nice positive click. Uh, you can put whatever kind of scales on it you want because it doesn't affect the Kydex or how, whatever you want to do with it because, as you can see, it stops right there. Nice uh, high-vis orange, you know, if I dropped it, even though it would probably be like this. Uh, overall, excellent, you know, like a caper-style blade shape. Beautiful, or bird and trout, whatever you want to call it. All right, now we're down to my number one most carried in the last few months. That is coming from BMKT. And that is his field spec EDC-1. BMKT is in a Canadian company. And I this is the first one that I bought uh, a couple of years ago. Nice Kydex sheath. Um, you get it in micarta. This is OD green, natural. I think you can get it in black micarta as well. And you can get it in G10. These were OEM'd by Best Tech. This is his worn clip blade shape. And I think it looks sexy. Excellent, excellent knife. Nice and compact. I can get a nice four-finger grip on it with my medium-sized hands. I can get all the way up there to do some detailed, intricate work. Uh, if I didn't say this is the 2021 version, um, this is an M390. Love those that contouring on the micarta full tang. Of course, all these are. I put my own little lanyard on there to just help pull it out the, the pocket. This is his little... Um, his EDC style clip that he offers on his site. <laughs> I've been uh, testing this out to see how I like it. So far, I've been liking it. I just clip it inside the pocket, pull the knife out. Uh, I actually have this on a couple of knives because he sent a few of them. But 
This is the Warren Cliff blade. <clears throat> Just recently, I've been testing this one and I've been loving it. This, these two are the 2022 version. I like how they did the fold over instead of the two piece because it's a lot more compact. And it's easier for me to carry. Nice push, push off point. And man, oh man, I've been loving this, this blade shape. I think this one's sold out, but all the other ones I think are still available. This is the uh, Sheep's Foot. Beautiful, beautiful. Comfortable in hand, no hot spots to speak of. You have a very generous sharpening choil so you can sharpen it up. I've sharpened this one up recently because I just, like I said, just did some testing with it. Love it. That's the second blade shape. This is his the drop point in the coated. It's a black wash finish with the, the green G10. Very, very nice. Now this one has a much more abrupt belly. So as a hunting blade, I think this would be great if you needed to do some, you know, skinning work like that, get all the way up to that tip. If anybody ever processed game, you know that these smaller fixed blades are awesome for that, especially if it's gonna hold up. You can do a little pinch grip there and finesse it around, you know, stuff that you don't wanna cut. Besides these three blade shapes, it also comes in a Tanto and a Bowie. The Bowie's kind of similar to this. You still, the Bowie, you have about the same uh, belly, but then this kind of, this kind of like curves down in a Bowie shape. So there you go. That is my most carried EDC fixed blades of the last few months. If y'all enjoyed this, let me know. Hit that like button. And if you see anything you like, just uh, look down in the description because I will have links to all this stuff. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.